What is up, Aqua family? Empress 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I definitely am. We're going to jump right in. Holy angels and spirit guides, give me clear, concise messages for my Aqua gang. What do we need to know, spirit? Clear, concise messages for my Aquarius family. All right. As you know, this will be general, okay? So it may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave the rest, put yourself where you belong in the story to all my cross watchers. This reading will have an extended as all of my readings do. You don't want to miss out on that. Okay, we do cut up over there. All right, I dig in a little bit deeper to your person's feelings. We're, we are going to look at any necessary changes that they've made just in case. Um, you'll still look at it. Okay, we'll look at their next steps, their intentions for those next steps, the outcome. And then we are going to look into new love. For those of you who are completely done with the past, we're going to look at what your next relationship is going to look like. Okay, when will that be? All right, is this going to lead to marriage? Will this person be worth your time, your energy? What will their behavior and and their character traits be like um, we'll also get a message from spirit directly okay your spirit message and the extended will be focused on um, love and finances what will spirit like you to focus on to reach financial freedom okay making money with your eyes closed okay while you sleep making money while you sleep all right being a boss um what will they like you to focus on to calling your divine counterpart all right that long-term commitment that long-term relationship somebody who is right here with it with you right on the same page um that will lead to marriage so to call that in what did they need you to focus on so all of that will be in the extended uh right let's jump right in y'all okay click the like button please do that support your girl support the channel make sure this video circulates to those who need it click that subscribe button for those of you who have not joined the family you don't want to miss out click the um notification bell as well all right so let's jump right in here let's not waste any more time see spirit what do we have clear concise messages for aquas situation oh they said take this okay really <laughs> look this bent in half okay wow drama 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 all right so you're dealing with some chaos here there may be a lot of chaos and conflict currently in your life um i was hearing in your meditation i wasn't gonna say it but they're like girl yeah that's why we had you hear it you need to say it um so what i was hearing was it's a it's a bar right <laughs> or a lyric from a drake song and what it says is they say they miss the old me Ooh, don't tempt me right like don't make me go back to what i used to be so what i feel like a lot of you have been like working on like moving towards your higher self vibrating higher uh, at a higher frequency and in order to do that you can't really focus on people who are with the shits you really have to stay away from the bullshit away from the drama because a lot of people try to provoke you they try to bring that old side back out of you or get a reaction out of you or something like that you know what i'm saying um so this is what i'm feeling out of this card that's what i feel like it is it, this doesn't only pertain to love this could be um family friends whoever um, when people see you making necessary changes to start elevating at a higher level, right? Like you are not with the petty shit. You know what I'm saying? You're able to turn a blind eye to certain things that would have had you pop all the way off in the past, right? There are people, individuals, uh, energies around you that want you to go back to that old way of doing things, right? Um, they've been provoking you, you know what I'm saying? Trying you. Um, so you're trying your damnedest to stay away from drama, chaotic energy, people who keep you all confused, lost in turmoil. Um, you may be dealing with a, a pretty dramatic individual right now, okay? This is somebody who is with the shits, right? Somebody who wants to provoke you. Um, this is someone who wants your attention is what I'm hearing, all right? So you may be paying this person dust and meanwhile, they're trying to kind of get your attention, possibly not in the best way, right? Somebody who's a attention whore or drama filled, that's not really the best way to try and get a person's attention. Emotions are weakness. Okay. Emotions are weakness, but this is somebody who tries to get your attention by evoking you emotionally, right? Provoking you. Um, so whatever it is that they're doing, they're doing it purposefully. Just know that. All right. I think you already do know that though. You're an Aquarian, so you're pretty intuitive here. Um, I feel there's competition. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you're paying this person dust. You have been ignoring them. You have been moving the F on. All right. 
successfully, I might say, you know, moving on as every Aquarian is able to do, like they never existed. And this is very bothersome. This is someone who wants you to be bothered guys, and you're not. So the indifference is what's really bothering them. So if they haven't already been doing things to try to evoke your attention, they will. All right. And it is because they feel like now they have competition on the playing field, but they're not even in the game anymore. So I don't even understand why that would be like a thing. You know what I'm saying? Why are they concerned with that? Why are they concerned with the rest of the competition? They've been excluded from the game. Disqualified, ma'am, sir. You were not in the game anymore. Shit. Past. Back to see if you down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the past is back, guys. Uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? You're like, girl, we're not surprised. That's in every reading. They always come back. So we have somebody who's back to see if you're down. What I'm feeling for most of you is when they come back, you're going to pay them just what I said, dust your ass, two kids, okay? Chucking them up, you know what I'm saying? You may give them a middle finger, you may give whatever that may be for you. This is somebody who's going to try to provoke you though, all right? So even if you ignore them, they're going to try to do things to get you to look at them, to get you to pay attention to what they're doing. Wow. So we have commitment, folks. So this was a person in the past who was not down for what you were down for. And now that you don't care, now that you could care less, actually, you know, now that you you're showing them that, OK, there's plenty more like <laughs> where that came from. I was just giving you a shot. But look, there was a whole line behind you. I'm sorry if you didn't recognize it. You know, I'm sorry if you were not awoken to how high a commodity I am. But so now this is that kind of um <laughs> arrogant energy being shown who you really are guys okay they feel like there are other people now in the mix this is why they're coming back they did not want a commitment they were not committing to this fully all right um this could have been someone who was all about that in the beginning though they they portrayed an individual who wanted that you see what i'm saying see i could never find another you so aqua are they stupid? Like, are they are, are they less than smart? <laughs> you like, girl, you asking us, duh, we know it already. Yeah, they're dumb. Okay, we thought they could replace you. Wow. So now they're being really shown the answers in which were already in front of them. Okay, they already had the playbook, y'all. And now they're disqualified from the game. They thought that they could go out and just replace whatever it is that you, the two of you had. Um, you may have given this person an ultimatum. You know what I'm saying? Like, look. I'm not going to stay around for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. Okay. Like I said, there's an entire line behind you. So we could, we can just move on to the next. We don't have to necessarily stay around and wait to see if you're going to commit to this. If you're ready for this, like I'm too old for this shit. You know, that's what I heard. And they called your bluff, but I don't know why they did that though. Okay. So now they're, they're stuck, you know, looking dumb pretty much, pretty much. I'm just going to say that. Um, and they're back to see if you're possibly down with this. For those of you who have blocked them, change your number, or will leave them on red, ignore them. They're going to try to get your attention in other ways. This is an attention whore, guys. Okay, let's make no mistakes about this. Um, their emotions are now leading them into a weaker position, okay? Because they're not able to shake you. They did try. They show enough try, guys, okay? Um, they were unsuccessful. But that's your bad. Like, that's your problem. I mean, that's your problem. Wow. All right. So see, look, yeah. So we're dealing with a pretty in um, immature individual here, guys. Okay. Um, the lack of commitment came from the fact that, you know, this is just someone who likes to play the field. Okay. They do. Um, but what you were giving them, they can't, 10 people, 10 other individuals wouldn't be able to amount um, up to what you were giving them. Okay. And so they're now realizing this, but it's too little too late is what I heard y'all. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just heard that. Um, I feel like people think just because they caught on just because now they've wisened up, you know, just because now they decided to take the blinders off those rose colored glasses off that now they still have a chance to make things right, but it doesn't always happen that way. You don't always get a chance to redo shit. So we have child in the reverse. So now they're going to come back and say, you know, I've grown up, right? <laughs> I've matured, you know, I've, I've analyzed where things have gone wrong. I've made some necessary changes. Like, um, let me, allow me to show you, you know what I'm saying? My new behavior patterns, but you view this person as a bunch of drama. You feel like they are with the shits. You are 
you're calling bullshit this time. Ooh, look at the bottom of the deck. See? Yeah, change. Okay? So this is a person who's coming back, guys. They're going to say that they have changed some shit. I don't know if you're going to believe this, if you're going to fully look at this. My intuition or my gut, which I normally like to go with, is telling me that they are nervous about others already being in, in the arena. Okay? Like, yeah, you have already recruited a whole nother team all right starting lineup okay you you got a whole nother team on the field on the court and this is what has really gotten them analyzing what the two of you had they did try to date again they tried to replace you they tried to replace this they were never they were never able to to get on that level with any other individual but i could have told them that i mean you could have told them that you did tell them that you did you know i'm hearing I'm not like the rest, you know, I'll fuck your life up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll fuck your whole head up messing with me. And they really play with it. They play with it. And so now you reap what you sow, my brother, my sister, like sis, bruh, you are laying in the bed that you've created, darling. Okay. So competition being on the field is really not of your concern. I mean, You've been banned from the arena, okay? You cannot get in. Oh my goodness. I don't know. So so they are saying that they've made the changes. We are definitely going to look at that and extend it. Because people could say that they changed all day, every day. Okay? I'm going to need you to put some actions with them words, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to need you to do. All right, let's see what we've got here. So what's this person's current feelings? I feel like they are letting their emotions get the best of them. They're kind of worried about what you're doing and you're not worried about them at all. Fuck. <laughs> Eight of cups. Yeah. See? Withdrawal. So changes in priority. So they're they're trying, they were attempting to let go, guys. Okay. I feel like this is someone who walked away from this first. Emotionally. You see what I'm saying? They were emotionally cold, distance, unavailable. Um, they did not commit to this. They did not hold up their end of the bargain. They did not solidify things between the two of you. They were with the shits. They were a bunch of drama, like a headache. You know what I'm saying? So while they were just trying to walk away emotionally, they did not as expect you to completely cut all ties, which you have now done. And this has really affected them. You know what I'm saying? They're coming in because they feel like now you've abandoned shit, but duh, like... <laughs> I wasn't never on your boat, okay? We were just simply having conversation on the dock, okay? I got my own yacht. Like, I didn't need to get on your boat, you know? that's They think you've abandoned ship. Like, come on. Wow. That's how they're currently feeling, okay? So they're toiling over you, completely walking away from this. I think that they kind of banked on the fact that they would be able to come back around. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who likes to leave the door open you know what i'm saying they don't want to close and cut all ties they like to leave a little entrance a little they want you to leave the back door open just in case they want to circle back around and still f with you but you're like no it's either all or nothing you're not playing with me you know like you're um some kind of trophy right they put you up there they take you down when they want to play with you then they put you back that kind of thing so very in and out in this um uh what is the word spirit it's um very inconsistent energy okay so this is someone who wanted to f with you when they wanted to f with you but then on the other hand whenever they wanted to do what they wanted to do that's exactly what they would do okay wow and so when you finally put your foot down that's what i heard guys okay don't beat me up i'm just saying they got away with it for a little while okay you're just trying to figure out what the fuck they was doing you could have possibly never dealt with an energy like this before. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, when you put your foot down, this is what really has them looking at things. They tried to replace you after you let this go and they have been unsuccessful. Duh. Like, duh. Duh. This is how they feel you affect the situation. Ace of Cups. <laughs> yeah. You were giving them that, you were doing that Aquarian thing on them. You know what I'm saying? Turning heads, breaking hearts. You know what I'm saying? Pouring into their cup fully and totally, guys, okay? It was overflowing, okay? Lots of compassion, nurturing. I feel like this person may have gone through something in their childhood too for a child to come up. And it was something that you were giving them that kind of filled their cup in that way. But here's the thing. 
this is how you know you're dealing with someone who is unhealthy right like they they weren't necessarily in the healthiest place emotionally um because i shouldn't be filling your cup up you know like your cup should already be full when we come together it should just be extra okay yeah so you're definitely in the mindset with the, especially with this drama 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 card you're going to be very vigilant about the relationships that you move towards making sure that people already have their own effing cup please don't come asking me for some of what is in my cup no nope. like have your own cup you know what i'm saying what are you bringing to the table are you bringing a cup because you don't have any more to give you're going to be pouring into yourself completely you're going to be keeping your cup for yourself and you want that divine counterpart to have a cup of their own as well like can we have two cups here please all right we can't just both be drinking from my cup depleting me wow all right tell me about these habits that we're gonna look to see if they've changed what are these habits about spirit Ooh, fell on the floor y'all hold on yeah so we have king of swords in the reverse so okay this is someone who is dominant right like they want everything their way but they're a manip they're manipulative okay they they abuse this power that they have you know if you guys were already committed towards one another they didn't fully commit um they never fully gave into this extremely opinionated but had a whole lot of nothing to say you know what i'm saying this could have been someone who was um overly critical of what you were doing but they wouldn't look at their own shit. you know it, it's just a very imbalanced type of energy selfish you know um and we also have someone who's a, a little bit vengeful right so the fact that you're not talking to them, I would definitely watch out for that, right? This is somebody who is definitely immature. They're with the drama. Like I said, they're with the shits. Um, so the get back is what they are all about. You know, like if you're not responding to them, you're not um, wanting to listen to them, right? A listening ear is what they want. But if you're paying them dust, then yeah, they may be a bit bitter about that, okay? Um, they did abuse their space in your life okay you fully gave into this okay you did 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 you almost poured your whole cup out but and so now that you've replenished yourself here they come for more right for seconds and i i just don't get the idea that you are going to let this in but they are with the shits they're trying to get you to they are trying to provoke you emotionally i did feel that in the beginning and i still feel that so let's go ahead and jump on over into the extended y'all because i just cannot i can't wait to look at to see what's coming in towards you new because i would not entertain this as free will but i wouldn't you know what i'm saying we are going to look and see um, what their next steps are going to be, what changes they're going to make towards this selfish, you know, abuse of power that they have, you know, they abuse emotions. They view emotions as weakness, but they use their emotions and evoking other people emotionally, getting people trapped emotionally. They use that as a weapon. Okay. They weaponize emotions. All right. So we're going to see what changes they've made, if any, right. If you care, um, we'll also look at their next steps, their intentions and the outcome. And then we're going to dig into the new only good. What is coming towards you new? Will this lead to marriage in a long-term relationship? Will this next relationship be the one? And when is it coming in? All right. Then we're going to also look at messages from spirit. As I said, the messages from spirit are going to focus on what you need to do, what you need to focus on to call in your divine counterpart, to call in marriage and to, in that long-term commitment, what do you need to do to call all of that in and financial freedom, okay? So come on over with me. First, click the like button, guys, all right? Click that subscribe button. Love you so much. Thanks for your support. I'm gonna see you over at the extended. We're gonna cut up a little bit. I'm gonna get into the ass. Don't even worry about it. I got you, okay? Come on over with me. It's gonna be linked down below in the description box. Bye.